Hello, welcome to my channel. This is my uh, Samsung top load uh, washing machine. I bought this machine from Home Depot uh, in May of 2021. So, and it's been working really good for me. And the model for this one is uh, WA50R5200AW. And let me show you uh, some of the feature that it has. It has 10 cycle right here. 10 cycle and uh, just turn on the power to show you that so permanent press cycle bedding and waterproof so right here just turn the knob to whatever cycle you want and uh, for bedding and waterproof is uh, for that's for you use that cycle for water resistant items such as uh, waterproof comforter mattress cover ski pan and raincoat for white for white items for heavy duty, for the like dirty clothes. Well, normally I would just use a normal cycle right there and then quick wash. Well, for quick wash, it's just like, uh, you know, some item is not very dirty. You just want a little quick wash. That's what it is. Delicate. Uh, rinse plus spin. So just one little rinse and spin. That's it. And then for spin only. And then this is self clean right here. This is a really good feature to have self clean. They recommend you do that for every 20 wash or every month or every, or when this icon came on right here. You see this icon right here? Uh, when that's come on, uh, they mean it's time to do self cleaning. Okay. And here is, uh, this is a really good uh, feature to have right here, active water jets. And this machine is high efficient uh high efficient uh, washing machine and energy star so to use the active water jet right here you what you need to do is just turn on the power turn it on okay it doesn't matter what cycle is on just turn on the power and then open the lid and so you use uh, active water jet this for let's say to uh, pre-wash your clothes or so hand wash your clothes and right here so turn on the machine and you press this right here. Press this button right here. Water coming out. You can hand wash your clothes. See? Okay. And now you want to stop it. Just press it again to stop it. Now after you finish using the water jet and you want to get water out of the, the, uh, the drum right here. The washing machine. All you need to do is just uh, close the lid. And then turn the... Turn the, the power off and uh, see water's coming out now. Wait, that's how you use it. So there's a few icon right here we can go through. You see that when this uh when the, this icon comes on, like the shirt plus a little uh, plus sign on the bottom there, that's uh, the icon indicate the uh, uh, Garmin. So when this icon, uh, so this icon indicate you can add or take out item after a cycle is started. So to add or take out item, basically just press the uh, right here, the start the whole button, the uh, whole button right here to press that, and then and then open the lid that you can add more item to the washing machine, and to and then to resume it, just close the lid, and then just press the uh, the start or pause button right here. And this button right here, the uh, a little lock right there. When that comes on, that means that uh, that's a lid lock uh, icon. So this icon indicates the lid is locked and cannot be opened. The the lid locks automatic automatically during your cycle, and and this uh, indicator turns on. You cannot open the lid, so you can open the lid when the, this icon disappears. So. So when that icon comes on right here, it tells you that uh, uh, time to do a self-clean. So it's time to do a self-clean cycle. So basically they recommend that after every 20 wash or every month, or when, or, but that icon uh, lifts up. So what I do is when I, when I do a self-clean uh, cycle, so I turn on the machine, okay? And then I, I turn the knob to self clean. This is what I use right here. This is called the uh, active washing machine cleaner. Cleaner. So it formulate to deep clean. So this is what I use. 
and this is basically it cleans, deodorize, refresh, and protect the uh, washing machine. So call call the active washing machine uh, cleaner. You can buy this from Amazon. See, they have a a tablet right here. This is what they have. Many tablets in here. It's in the in a package. All you need to do, do is just tear one up and then just toss into the uh, to the washing machine and then just uh, close the lid and then uh, turn on the start button. That's it. This uh, this work really good. It should clean your machine really good. Keep doing this to keep the machine uh, from getting dirty. There's a compartment right here. There's two compartments. One for fabric softener and one for detergent. So detergent uh, use a high efficiency that have HE right here for best result. Use high efficiency detergent. Right here I got this one all. Uh, look at this. It's, you see this symbol right here? This uh, HE stand for high efficiency uh, washing machine. So don't use any other detergent except that have that label right here. Okay. So one thing that I not recommend that you using is a fabric softener because it's really bad for your washing machine. So I'm not recommend using that. If it's up to you, you want to use it, but I would not recommend using a fabric softener. And right here, if you want to put the bleach, there's a little cup right here, cup hole right here. That's where you put the bleach, liquid bleach only. Do not put any uh, uh, detergent in here, liquid bleach only. Okay. Well, they also have a pre-soak. You want to pre-soak? You put a, you turn this on. A delay end, uh, fabric softener. This is this feature right here is really useful too. The deep fill. Uh, this machine. A lot of people complain that it doesn't use a lot of water, and a lot of people didn't feel that their clothes get cl very clean at all because it use less water because it's a high efficiency uh, machine. So you want extra water in your uh, washing machine, you could use this feature right here, deep fill. So deep fill does not work with every cycle, it on, can only be applied right here. Deep fill can only be applied to specific cycles such as heavy duty, whites, permanent press, quick wash, delicate. And I don't think we have dark uh, cycle in here. Uh, active wear, we don't have that. And we have rinse plus spin. So. I'll so basically, if you want extra water, then use deep fill. See, what you need to do is just uh, to use that feature, just turn on the uh, turn on the machine and then turn on deep fill right here. OK, you got to press that on, turn on deep fill and then just set your uh, your cycle to the one that uh, that uh, you can use a deep fill. So this is how I put my clothes in the washing machine. I spread it out like that. Like that. Pack pants with pocket. Make sure that you uh, you check the pant pockets to make sure you get rid of all the uh, any paper, any debris inside the pocket. Take it out. You know, like sometimes you have money in there. You don't want that to clog up the machine, the washing machine. So advice I hear that I would give to you. Do not overload your uh, washing machine. Try to put it, uh, don't fill it up all the way to the rim like this right here. Okay, the reason why is because, you look at here, I can put my finger through here. You see? You see it's such a big gap right there? All right, all around. And when, when it's in the spinning cycle, that means the drum was spinning really fast. What happened if one of this, uh, like say socks or any small item happened to, you know, toss around and then, and then go through, go through that gap right here. You see that? So when you're missing a socks or something, say, well, what happened to my socks? It probably fall under between the cracks right here. To the bottom of the, the drum onto the other side and when that happened sometime it uh, can find its way to clock up your uh, uh, the hose the water hose the draining hose and uh, so the the water would not be able to uh, 
to drain out the uh, washing machine. So you're going to have a problem. Yeah, but it, so when that happens, you probably have, probably have to take everything apart from the, the, from the bag and then to uh, unclog it. So my, my advice to you is I do not overfill overfill the uh, the washing machine for small items such as socks or something like that try to put it uh, put it underneath right here and set it on the top okay and this is how I spread my clothes right here you see that so when it start to spin it start to spread out it basically spread out evenly so that the machine wouldn't become wobbly you know when a when the machine in the spinning cycle if uh, everything is not, uh, you know, spread out evenly, the machine start to shake right here, a wobbling. So you don't want that. So okay, the next thing is to uh, pull this out. You can take this out too right here. You can remove it, and uh, if it's getting really dirty, make sure you uh, you clean it right here. And I just fill the tray up a little bit. Not too much right here. I push it back in. All right, now close the lid. And now just turn on the uh, power. And then uh, turn the knob to select the cycle. So no, I just put mine to normal. And you can set the uh, the uh, the water temperature right here. Uh, see when it's hot. Look at the time right here. It's only take fifty three minutes. When be, when you change to coal, it takes an hour and four minutes. So it's a uh, it change the time right here, depending on what temperature you want to use. So normally I just uh, to save money on the electric bill, I just use cold water. And then how many times you want it to rinse? So you see how if you want to rinse five times, look at the uh, take three hours to wash is this close right here. So I'm going to just put mine to one. This for spin. How high you want the uh, machine to spin your clothes. So I just put around in the middle right here. So heavy sawyer or light sawyer, you can change that. I just put mine in the middle. Now we all set. We all set everything already. Need to do is just uh, press start. That's it. And one thing about the machine that I like is uh, I got the, the 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 lid. The lid, as you can see through right here, it's just like a, a a plastic. It's not glass. It's just like a plastic. The plastic lid and a see through, so I can. I can see what uh, is going on in the machine right here. See, it start to spin now. So basically, it take about an hour and three minutes to wash this clothes right here. Now water's coming out. All right. This is washing right now. It's in the wash cycle right here. It's like blinking. It's in a wash cycle. As you can see right here, one thing about this machine that people complain a lot, they say that it doesn't use a uh, it doesn't use a lot of water. You can see that not much water in there. It's supposed to be high efficiency uh, washing machine, so at the uh, Energy Star is supposed to use less water basically. Spinning left and right, the drum spinning left and right. All right, 40 minutes to go, so it's still in the wash cycle. So almost uh, 23 minutes now in the wash cycle. All right, the, the water drain now, now I'll after about uh, uh, 30, almost 30 minutes in washing cycle, now the water drain out. Okay, now it's in the run cycle, start to spin. 
it's spinning a little bit just start to drain out all that uh, soapy water so it's already drained out some already coming out all the dirty water soapy water is coming out Right, more water come pumping out. It's spinning now. It's gonna spin all the uh, spin out all the dirty water out, all the soapy water. Right there. Still a little bit of water coming out. All right, now all the dirty water are gone already. A, a fresh water coming out now. More water pumping out. Yeah, more water draining out now. Okay, the rent cycle is done. Now we're in the spinning cycle now. I just stop a little bit before it start to spin. I got 13 minutes to go. Look and see how it's spinning super fast now. Try to get all that water out of the clothes. And you can, you see how quiet it is? It's super quiet. It's not like any other machine. That's one thing I like about Samsung. And uh, see, and uh, the trick is if you spread your clothes out really good, you see when it spin, it does, the machine doesn't shake at all. All right, five minutes to go. Alright, one minute to go. That's it. Alright, it's done. Okay, and uh, you see the clothes is pretty clean. Pretty clean. And uh, so this wash machine is uh, close to three years old already. And uh, it's still working. It still performs really good. So thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe. Bye bye.